Welcome back to Avernum, where we're taking on the Shattered Fort. Oh, you are standing at the lowest point in a twisted, shattered landscape near a turbulent pool of lava. Looking up, you see an awesome sight. This huge cave once contained a huge fort, a mi mighty edifice of basalts. Then it was shattered in a massive cataclysm, perhaps an enormous cave quake, a huge magical battle, or both. Spires of ruined wall emerge from the smoldering volcano rock below. Twisted pillars are barely visible through the soot. Well, um, not sure what I do with them. Navigate over here, I guess. And you, on the other hand, can walk up to here and hit them with this. Is there, can I get all of them somehow? No, just three. Oh, very nicely done. Oh, he threw it. Yeah, bastard. You couldn't. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Oof. Just hold the line. So you can move over here and just freeze him as we go. Right, can you get the shot off? Boom. That's okay. So instead, kind of go here, see if you can reach around the corner. No. Oh. He didn't have quite enough action points. Why don't you... Oh! I need one shots. Okay, so there... You just charge in. Um... Can you reach? Yes. Oh. Oh, cr he's... Immune, but he's now immobilized. Ah, oh, an acid. He missed. Alright. It's already going better than I thought. I figure I'll do this last. Ooh. Cliff imps on the cliffs. Oh, we gotta activate that. Um. That's how it's gonna be. That works out. Oh, crit. Not bad. First aid took care of us. Oh, another barrier. Uh, let's see. Oh, saw something wandering back there. Oh, I should sense I'm in a freaking battles. Oh, really? Nothing. It's like an encounter to activate. There's an altar here. Old. Very old. Ancient. It might even predate the arrival of humans in the underworld. There are strange, incomprehensible runes carved into the every surface of the stone. You get a strange, twitchy feeling as you stare at them. Let's try to decipher it. The runes form disturbing pictographs and twisted words in an unfamiliar alphabet. As you examine them, you find that the patterns are very hypnotic. Soon, all of you are bent close to the altar, staring at it. Eventually, you pull yourselves away. Looking at the carvings made you feel very ill for a moment. Like you had vertigo. The feeling has passed, though, and now you feel energized. Okay, we got a ward of elements. That's interesting. Let's do a quick save. Let's destroy it and see what happens. Oh, we gotta go away from it first. Ancient altar. Let's destroy it. Altar is surprisingly soft. It is the only the work of a few minutes to thoroughly deface the evil ruins with your weapons. Afterwards, you feel very pleased with yourselves. Then the altar's final curse hits you. A strange symbol appears on your forehead. Everyone who sees it will get slightly uncomfortable. It's not a huge curse, certainly. Nothing you can't live with, but it won't help your reputation any. You have earned some experience. You have worse reputation. That's a weird one. So we didn't gain loot. Or... Have to fight anything. There's 
There's a large cave wood wheel here, with a long length of iron chain wrapped around it several times. The chain goes from the wheel to a hole in the ground. And then, turn the wheel to the west, you hear stone grinding upon stone. And that's what I thought would open the bridge. I think this is the only path we've got. Something going on over there. What's going on this backside here? Should be. I think there's something wandering we can fight. Cave demons. You know, we don't even really need it, so I'm gonna conserve our buffs. But can I take them out? The bow? No. They're not that weak. It's a good surprise, though. shot. Oh, actually, she's getting kind of low. They're not focusing. Good. Yeah, just do your thing. Oh, lost the turn as well. Oh, and we get a bonus. Oh, that's health on her. Oh, it's a flamey banshee. Oh, that's not gonna work on her. The positioning sucks for this. Do we have a... Something that would be like a... All around us. Not really fire... It's not going to work on that. Let's... Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Terrification. Oh, resisted apparently. Let's do one of those. Ah. No, oh, she got terrified. But now... That works. Terrified? It sucks. And they didn't move, so good for me. Oh, not immune. The flaming one is not immune. That's a Spectral robe. I don't know if that helps us, but uh, not as good. But that's quite the quite the drop. Still short, so some good stuff over there. Bone pile, a purging crystal. I'm the purger. Max cure. Oh, there's some baddies over there. Oh, it's already been looted. That's no fun. So, very good. Cover it 
seed. Oh, ah, he's not quite there. Oh, we're standing on the edge, so you're not safe. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. But I dispel the barrier. Yeah, probably a secret room there. Maybe that button. Oh, the corpse. As you cross this narrow bridge, the lava around you starts to bubble. Hissing, chattering creatures emerge from it, holding globules of lava in their scaly hands. Alright, these things look dangerous. But not too dangerous. Yeah, I can take those on, just clean up the backside, and then do an ice attack on the close ones. those down there. Let's do that. Clear them of their immediate ones. Now they are in range, I believe, that they could cause some trouble. They're coming back. recognize us. We'll certainly take the XP though. So we didn't go down there earlier. Let's see if there's any pickups. Oh, we got good stuff. I hold to the goodies. Hiding. Stun. Oh, stun immune. Good, good. Okay, so that just leads to that, which appears to be a bit of a dead end without activating something. Here, we can't cross the lava, so we can't get over to that button. Oh, there's a switch down there that I never hit. That needs to be noted. Here. Ooh, a box. Repeal and a recovery. Why don't you take that? How about. And since we're here, we'll just confirm this is a dead end. <gasps> oh my. Um, yeah, we don't need a haste for this. We just need to back it on up. So, oh, but we can't do around the corner stuff. So, I'm going to back up here. Back up there. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. If only there was like a way to trap it. Just need to come over here and then just 
fireball their asses. Which does pretty well. Right. You can get in there. There we go. Who was supposed to have that? Alright, so that's cleared. It looks like got some random rocks. Oh, quick save, we'll head in. Oh, there's a large cave wood wheel here with a long length of iron chain. We are turning the wheel. We start to turn the wheel, only to find that the mechanism is blocked by a small gold padlock. Fortunately, you have the key to the mechanism. You turn the wheel around three times. As it turns, you hear the sound of stone scraping against stone to the west. As you leave, the padlock springs back onto the wheel under its own power and locks itself. A magical padlock. Now we have access to the upper deck. Just got the okay, nothing just sitting there other than this button. Ah, oh, so now it's annoying to get back, so we'll But it is necessary before we go into what may be the final chamber. Unless there's multiple more levels. Okay, so that's interesting. Nothing appeared... Oh, wait. It's just a grab stick. There's just a rod of battle. Bless is near my house. It's just a war blessing. Uh, why don't you take a war blessing? It's used to that. everything having, like, a bad guy behind every corner. Oh. Those... I think spawned in. Hmm, I don't see any baddies here. That's the most suspicious thing ever. Statue chamber? Extremely suspicious. Let's see buttons on the side. Let's have a let's see what's this. Go into the wisdom and a vulnerability elixir for you. Yeah, so who gets what? 28-7. Right. Guess it's you. 28 28-7-30-28-8-28-7-7. Alright. So, Chilea, you shall gain the Wisdom Crystal. And be ever closer to reaching your final level. Let's approach. I'm not doing any buffs just yet. You approach what appears to be a pillar. However, when you get close, you see what really is. It's a human being, a man dressed in tattered armor. He is frozen in stasis and covered with thick shell of soot. You aren't sure whether he was dead or not when he was frozen. There is a gold medallion hanging around his neck. It has the crown symbol of the royalty of the Empire on it. Let's take it and see, does it activate a trap? When you get closer, you see the medallion is a royal seal. With a good hard pull, you free it from the body. The motion causes the entire figure to crumble into dust. Reanimation is not an option. The man was long dead. As you pocket the seal, you hear a buzzing noise coming from all around you. The man was not the only being frozen in this chamber. Now that the spell holding him in stasis has been broken. Other things are starting to appear. Okay. Could have been worse. So let's lead with a haste. 
first. We gotta fight our way out of this pit. I'm actually, I think I can attack him directly. He's sitting on the ledge there. So why not? Oh. Yeah, they're gonna run down to us. Uh, they're not clustered in a good way, unfortunately, so I don't think there's any good angles yet. So we have something more fun. Let's, let's acid spray this guy, although he might be immune. Yeah, <laughs> but he got lightninged. Let this guy get to acid spray. Not immune, but whatever. Oh, hold the imp imprisoned. So he's probably a tougher one. So he wants to come down. Oh, is he? I thought he was terrified. That would have been great. Okay, so the Mung Demon. Oh, let's hit the key because I can't see that well. Now you attack the sea. Getting into worthwhile attack territory. Still, probably. Oh, of course, the fire demon is immune to the fire. Why wouldn't he be? Miss. Oh. Okay. Cleave, and one of them is down. So now, uh, as long as we're hitting that guy, oh, that'll be a worthwhile attack. Couldn't quite take him out. I think we have the mass cure. Okay, so he's gonna come on in and do his attack. Though his lightning might take him out. If he has low health. Enough. Nope. Not oh, he didn't finish. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, they're right up. I don't think uh, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, so we are doing good. We've got the first one down. These are fiery. It's the cold. No problem. Several turns worth of yeah, maybe my ha my haste is upgraded. I feel like this this is not immediately running out. So for this one, he's a little weaker. Yeah, he's he's, he's the big bad. Oh, they're they are lined up in a good way. Can you get an angle on him? Not really, but... So if we could electricify them, I think if you back it on up a little bit... And you can get all three, well, those three. Should be a great boon to us. And then I think you're gonna have to mass heal it. Just have to deal with the consequences. <clears throat> Stairs. Almost dead. Uh, uh, unfortunate. Or actually, icy rain, maybe? Yeah! So it's like he can't be immobilized, so don't even bother. Let's take care of him. And find him. Immobile, uh, immobile, but wasn't the most effective. Though it never is.
Very nice. Extra shot. Of course. He's gonna do like an AoE every turn. Uh, she's got some damage coming, but that should be survivable. Uh, let's throw down the haste. to show for it. Dragon skin brazers, I'll have to see what these do. So nine, one less than the current radiance. Minus five to hit, that's no good. But you get fire and energy resistance. Hmm. So nine, minus five. No negatives on any of these. In theory, it's supposed to be better than all this stuff. Wait, energy resistance, chance to evade. Actually, maybe it might be an upgrade for her. So four for five on the armor to hit chance situation. 20% energy, 10% and... Oh, 20% fire. And, ah, that's, those are good resistances. Spectral. So you benefit from spectral. Five is better. So instead of magical damage, you get energy resistance and 2% evade. Drake hide. I think mine are like the best shit. Yeah, no negative or anything. So, open our junk pack. Oh, and dump some more valuable things in there. Oh, and the first aid kept got us nice and, uh, Sorted, and now we have the crown token or whatever the hell it is. The crown seal. Don't have a quick escape though. We gotta go through this little maze. Possibly get attacked on our way out. Not nearly as uh, challenging, challenging as I thought this might be. Oh! Trying to stop us, eh? We can go over here. Ah, oh, see, the enemy. I want to go around this way. You need to let me be able to decide my own stuff. What's a fire demon? Yeah, get him with the lightning. One shot off. Do what it is that you do. Then you're done. Alright, cool. So we have now have the crown says so that was the final piece for I think the Hawthorne quest. I'm kind of interested in heading back to the castle. This castle. We got that taken care of. Is there something in the Tower of Magi? I mean, if we have enough of the money, we might be able to do an upgrade, but so that's something to consider. But I just want to see what the level of the freaking spells is. Okay, spell abilities. Okay, here we go. So we're level 3 Dispel, level 3 Spray Acid, Bolt of Fire is an upgrade if it's possible. I don't care about the priestly spells. But even going to um, a place that has... I think Almeria might have combat training or dodge or something. And the boat 
is waiting to go to the slits. Yes, what you train. What you train. Melee and pull. Already got it. Utterly worthless. Forts don't tend to have the trainers as much, so probably Nass and Darmon. I don't. I'm not sure that Darmon has one. Also, be thinking of if there's any. Towns that might have loose ends of the smaller ones. Perhaps a board that never got uh, looked at for a little minor thing. Melee pull bow. Blade master. And maybe. You can only do two levels. Increases also increases pull. Damage 3%, chance to hit by one. You can only do one. But it but it helps. Well, I might be able to do another after I do my selling spree. So I have several goodies. Wow, we're at 6k on the junk bag. Yeah, these valuable non magicals are pretty good as well. Piercing. Yeah, let's go do it. Stupid bitch, get out of my way. Now. I'd like to do some training. We would like to get... Blade Master. Now our melees are Blade Mastered up. Good upgrades. I don't think they have a trainer, but... Give it a look. It's just a job board. Yeah, nothing going on there. Like, do we have, what is the brooch status? One, two, with triple brooch status. We gotta find the guy's partner, which, was it east or west? If it's east, perhaps Metis? Or whatever it's called. Mertis. I think there was some hint of there. Though I think we checked there, like, many an episode ago and didn't find anything. So perhaps, I think the bar would be the first place to look. Ooh. We're at an impasse. We must use the orb of Thralni to bypass that bullshit. finger on the one key. Up. Up and away. Actually, what's the... tons of healing? Uh, you know what? Just throw the elixirs in your bar, quite honestly, at this point. Even my guy, the, the potions may not be powerful enough. Power Lash, kind of worthwhile. Group Heal, still, still good. Yeah, can I? I'd like to really use these to like generate a random number. I think I saw you with magical notes. You need to hand those. Or ah, uh, actually, you can hold them to the books. I don't feel like carrying them. They're too heavy. It's got tons of wand options. It's got a use them. So I don't know what the person's name is. And then I did all of her potion quests. Does she... Um, potion ingredients. Better. Rituals can help me. Tell me more of the church. Okay. She can make more potions. That would be nice. Alright, do we have... 
and he named characters. Mac. Good one's not dead. I'd like to like some help over here. Sure thing, stranger. Best review you have. Mark size the gun. Yes, our rooms. Thick, comfortable beds, fine furniture. Everything first rate. Alas, all of our rooms are taken up by traveling merchants. Okay, so you probably can not use the rooms anywhere, even if you ask about them. It's not this guy. He doesn't seem like a, uh, a thief, thiefly guy. We want to find a bandit-looking character. Not a single merchant in any one of these rooms. Utter bullshit. Square that has a name. Merchant. Merchant. Put my head in here again. This is a blind cell. I don't need anything. To peek at the weapons of the cell. Matt, they buy, do you know the woman in the next booth? There's armor. What's the sash? you work here? Merchants. Oh, they could be hiding along one of these back ends. So I have to give it a look. Oh! You speak with Bertrand once again. Fortunately, he remembers you, and that you don't mean him any harm. Do you have Eldon's brooch? Here we go, brooch time. He yelps in horror. It's mine, not Eldrin's. Whatever he says, it's mine. He looks you over and smiles slightly. Although, you could purchase it. Just a hundred gold. Okay, I'll buy that. 100 gold's a great deal. You pay him the money and he hands you a tiny, beautifully crafted amulet made of platinum. Thank you. I was tired of carrying that thing. It's done me no good. Now money, that's useful. I need to get away now. Leave me be. Well, what are you doing here still? I'm hiding. Don't tell anyone. Alright, so we have brooch number four. One, two, three, four. Now, before we go and try to fight a dragon, which is the next order of business, actually, is this like a permanently hidden thing? I feel it feels like an empty spot where there's probably adventure. So to get to Sithis, we gotta get to our boat, which is over yonder. Have the one key ready to go. So I traverse this area. Got lucky. I'm gonna do it the sneak way. I don't have to deal with loading screen. Oh! Alright, skip those loading screens. Now, we do have. We do potentially might want to go to a trainer, which. Let's go to this town. I don't remember what everyone has. It's like one of them's a gymnastics trainer. It works. Uh, this one may not have any trainer. Oh, was it? Oh, let me through. I guess it was just a little bit too long of a trek. Then let me get away with it. A training hall. Get some training. Three scars. What do you do here? What sort of can you teach me? I'd like to learn about quick action gymnastics is it gives you a 2% chance of evading attacks, 10% chance of starting combat rounds with a bonus action point. I think everyone can use some gymnastics. Especially our two mains. So now we're poor again. But we just gained a little bit of dodge and bonus action points. So at this point, we are as well equipped as we can be until we get more money. So we'll swoop 
ground and head to the fortress. And last I remember, the entire bottom floor has been taken care of. So we'll head up to level two. I mean, it's a, it's a big bad fortress, so it's probably at least a three level situation. So how long level two takes us, we're... About the 40-ish minute mark, so probably can't finish number two, but... Oh, they've respawned. Just one? short one. I guess there might be some residuals chilling. Oh. Over there, eh? If that was not what I wanted. Can't reach. On the loot, do you? That would be a little too good. Alright, so is that the only way up? I think so. So, first thing is first. Blades against the slith. I think that makes sense. Ward of Steel, unless they do Thought Drain. save on. Don't see anything immediately here. Slip. That's just oh, preemptive haste. And now with the haste, we shall do a stunner. Hit him with the stunner. Alright, so the shaman. Let's do our standard barrage. I think we got him early. So where did the... Ooh, that was nasty. Nastily bad. Ooh, beautiful crit. Oh, it only affected one. Mm. Actually, my boy here, I think if I can get that corner locked in... Uh, do, do I want to? I want to use the inferno, or do I? I've probably got some good stuff over here. Haste, a terror wand. Kind of want to just give it a shot. They all resist. Ah, uh, wonderful. Beautiful cleave. He tuck this around the corner. Yeah, from distance. Oh, they're both of them sling threat. If he's truly mobile. And he's just Yeah, if they don't give chase, then good for us. Got chest to open. Where? Oh, back behind us. Why don't you go to sleep on that bed? Forever. We are just trying to pick up loot, and I got another one coming. Oh, 
that was quite the immobil immobileness or immobility. I don't know what the current terminology would be there. I dropped useless stuff. Are they are there more coming? Okay, let's head in here. Just refuse room. Yeah, no corpses to search. Ooh, that looks like an important hall with the cultist Yursa. Yeah, right down the middle. One shotied. Just stand right there. And hit him with the fireball. Oh, he got lucky on that one. Interesting move. Heal. Yeah, get wrecked. Scrub. I'd use electricity if I don't have to leave. Ooh. Got some health on her. Oh, oh we're doing that, eh? Oh, as you push the art. Alter, it starts to heat up. At first, it's warm, then it glows red hot. A wave of searing wind tries to throw you back, but then it fades away. The power of the barbarian spirits of Sazurakai is not enough to stop you. I'm just trying to attack the main cultist villain right now. That might want to give us just a haste buff. Just so we can speed on through. Uh, she can take at least one more round, I'd say. That's good. Two. It's another hit you can take, not. As long as you're targeting the enemies, we are in good shape. Did it yourself. It's like a radiant. Uh, I got luck armor and stuff. I don't know if. They're cool looking, certainly. But they're just heavy armor, really. They're not anything too special. I shall have the chalice, or the goblet, in this case. I missed. Aha. This hall is a memorial to Slith warriors fallen in battle. It is strangely eerily quiet. Sounds like an undead are about to, like, try to ravage us once we touch the right thing or the wrong thing. Oh, there's a button. Aha. Oh, in the middle? What is this? Power Lash. Basilisk Fang Wand. Come attack with a stun. And you know, that incense is really taking it up. Iron. 
got the steel. And I probably, you know, probably get rid of some of these wands that I have duplicates of. Mass heal. Those are useful though. Patch hole with wall blessing. Wait. Did I throw it on the ground by accident? I think I did. That was dumb. some delay. We're good there, so I don't like jump around doors. I think this is what makes sense. This would be the other kind of starter corner to round. Ooh, a Slift Chieftain. Head first. Oh, did I miss? Get up close and personal. Yes, they got mages. We want to take them out if possible. That's one. No full on knockback, eh? I take them both out. You can hit this guy. fire pit, eh? And it'll show you what we do to people that hang out in the fire pits. Give him the chair. Very good. There's the next room over there, so I kind of want to crawl down this side. I saw a little mage or something there. Yeah, so maybe I head on up and just give him the old inferno. That sucks. It really does. Yeah, like her upgraded magics are just. So much better. Ooh. This may just mean business. Scroll. These were unexplored. And they have 
some uh, goodies in them. Is that a spirit thing there? It is. Actually, what I should do is, although they can heal themselves, it's not necessarily the most efficient thing to do. Well, she's got all this food. It doesn't do much, though. Got energy elixirs, so I need to, like, throw down five. Just give her five. Same thing over here. Just go to the bar. Just in case. She's got the elixirs. Good play there. Ooh, what do we got here? Anything? Nope, nothing exciting. That's that center room, which I think is going to be the big fight for this floor. These dirty, much-read books and scrolls all have been looted from human settlements. Sliffs have been reading them in an attempt to learn more about humanity. Since most of the books are crude romance novels and boring treatises on astronomy, you don't think they've learned much of interest. Well, okay, they probably picked up a few interesting tidbits from the romance novels, but nothing that will help them win a war. What's this? Oh, we have magical notes again. And a vase, which is an unusual container. Hello, Slith Warrior. It's time for you to do your duty. And you die like a true warrior. Okay, that's all we got out of that. Yes, yeah, so now we head to the central chamber. Oh, it looks like a, we're gonna get locked in probably. Should probably look at that stuff too. This book is filled with crude slith writing and diagrams. It has been filled with plans and maps describing past operations and potential attacks yet to come. Since you can't understand the barbarian scrawling, you can make little sense of what they're up to. One thing is clear though, new attacks are imminent. Yeah, so before going in there to that clearly like a fighting arena type of chamber, clear out this area if there's anything to clear. Seems not. Got some fish, a dagger, nice piece of meat. Doesn't appear to be anything to open. Okay, so I'd say we are up to this last chamber. So let's get prepped onto the carpet. And something's going to appear there for sure. So we're going to do this boss fight in the next episode. So catch you all then.